In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple game in Kodu. So the purpose of this game is I'm going to have um, some enemies moving around the world and they're going to move on a random path and the purpose is that um, the Kodu has to collect a coin. If he gets touched by the enemies then it's game over. If he gets the coin, then um, the Kodu is the winner. So um, let's start off by going to New World. And um, we just want to make this terrain slightly bigger. So I'm going to click on this terrain tool and um, just increase the size of the terrain. So what I'm doing is clicking on the right um, arrow key on my keyboard just to make it bigger. And you can click on the left arrow to make it smaller so you can adjust the size. So make it slightly bigger and I think that's about appropriate. So I left click on my mouse and I've made the terrain slightly bigger. So let's start off by um, inserting the enemy first. So the enemy is going to be a rover. So um, click on the object tool and then click somewhere else. It's taking a bit long actually just because... Um, uh, let's do it again. Yeah, here we go. Sometimes it crashes. So I'm going to... Insert a rover, um, slightly too big, so I'm going to right click, uh, change the size of it, and um, yeah, just make it slightly smaller. Okay, so that's the enemy, that's the rover. So um, hmm. then we're going to just uh, create a path around the track for the rover, which is the enemy to follow. So let's just um, click on the path tool and um, let's just create a random path um, around the whole area okay and it can be as random as you want so there's no um you know sort of how can i say there's no um thought behind making this path it's just uh it's you know it's, i'm just clicking wherever i can so there we go we've got my path um so the the uh rover has got a lot of um, ground to cover. So I just right click to stop creating the path. Now I need to program the rover to move around the path. So I click on the rover, right click and I want to program it. So um, I just want it to move along the path um, continuously. So I don't want to uh, provide an action for it uh, to move along the path. I want it to do it automatically. So I leave out the when and I go straight to the do and I say move on path and quickly so I click on escape on my keyboard and I play this and you see that the rover is just moving along the path just really randomly um, so what we can do is we can press the escape button to stop that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this rover and um, I'm going to copy it so we've got um, uh, so let's copy that and uh, let's paste that so we've got we're gonna have make it make the game a bit more difficult so I'm gonna uh, paste it again so I'll right click paste rover so we've got a few rovers and you'll notice that when I paste copy and paste the rovers if you go to the program it would have kept the program um, or the instructions of the original rover which is quite good so you don't have to do that over and over again so click on play here, okay, we've got a number of rovers just moving around um, and uh, yeah, so um, these are the rovers that you really want to avoid in this game and you can make it as difficult or as easy as you want to. So I come out of here and um, now I need to insert another object. So I go down here and uh, we're going to insert a coin. And the coin is down here. Okay, so we'll keep the coin perhaps down here. Now we need to insert your character um, or my character, which will be anything. You can choose whatever you want. So I'll go back here and uh, my character is going to be the Kodu. So the Kodu's uh, here now and we need to program this Kodu to move around. First of all, I think it's slightly too big, so I'm going to right-click on the Kodu and change the size. Okay, better. 
Um, and now I need to program this Kodu to move before I do anything else. So I right click on the Kodu, um, program, and when uh, the keyboard, the arrow keys are um, pressed, then we're going to get it to move. Simple instruction. Um, and I come out of here, so I click on Escape. Now you can change the settings of the rover if you wish to. So if you right click on the, sorry, the Kodu. If you right click on the Kodu and you can go to change settings and you can get it to move a bit faster if you want to. Um, you can change its turning speed and there's um, lots of different other settings you can have a look through. But um, just change, I'm gonna make it a bit faster and change its turning speed and click on escape, come out of here. Now, uh, I need to program this. So, um, we're gonna go back into the program and we've, we're on the second line of code. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to program it so that if it bumps, um, into the rover, then it'll be game over. And if it actually gets the coin, um, you're a winner, or I'm a winner. So uh, the rover's not here. Might be in bots too. Here we go. Um, so if it bumps into the rover, um, then the game, we can say, okay, well, uh, it ends the game. Okay, so it's more or less game over. Now, however, if it bumps into the coin so we go to objects and we look for the coin just looking for it can't find it don't know where it's gone should have been there uh, still can't find it um, let's go here still not there let's go to more okay so yeah it was on the third level on the third level of the menu. Um, so if it bumps into the coin, then what will happen? Um, we'll go to game and we'll say winner. Okay, so uh, let's try this game out then. So if I click on, um, if I come out of here and I click on play. Okay, um, right, let's go, let's go try and get the coin. Whoops, I got hit by the rover, so game over. Let's play this game again. Okay. You'll notice that the rover moves really, really slowly. Sorry, the code moves really, really slowly. Here we go, we got it. So, um, yeah, I was a winner. So, uh, thank you for watching um, this video tutorial and um, enjoy making your games. Thank you for watching.